Good morning. As you can see, Talisman is currently all parked up in a marina. <sighs> Guys, it's absolutely scorching today. It's only eight o'clock and it's already 30 degrees. It's gonna be a scorcher, probably a silly day to go exploring, but just walking up to meet Bryn. He's uh, just gone to the toilets and then I think we're gonna go for a little wonder. Um, I'm pretty sure there's not much to do in this town. Um, so we have no idea what's here, but um, it's always nice to stretch your legs. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Marina has got all these beautiful pine trees around it. It's so nice. Just down there is a little walk to the beach. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. So we're in Rockella Ionica. Um, which, to be honest, is kind of like a bit of a middle of nowhere place, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but it's really pretty. Um, it, so far from what we've seen, it's lovely. It's got a lot it's of really uh, like naturey parks around it. It's also a blue, blue flag beach. But the reason we came in, obviously, was to kind of duck from weather. Yeah. So as you just saw um, in the last video, we had a bumpy ride to get here. Yeah. And we uh, turned round, duck, ducked in here to um, hide from some bad weather and. Basically just waiting out here until the weather changes again. That's the plan. Okay, so we just found a little bench in the shade, so we're taking a rest. We're settled in this marina. There looks like there's gonna be another weather window in about four days time. So we're planning to hang out here, wait out this weather, waiting for this weather window. And then yeah, we're gonna make our way back to the destination we were trying to get to before, and then going to Albania. So, back on into town, into the sun, let's go. Yeah, let's get walking. Oh, there's a train over there. It's kind of hard to talk about because I don't want to say anything for sure um, until things are confirmed. But we've had basically an opportunity come up to invest in some property, and we're thinking it's a very real possibility that we could do this. But it would change everything. It would mean selling Talisman um, to use the money for that. And yeah, we're just we're, we're just having a little coffee and a chat about things because. It, it almost seems like too good of an opportunity to pass up. It's kind of took us off guard because if we was to follow through with this, it means that all of our plans are basically going to change. Like we're just literally talking about, are, are we even ready to give up a boat? Like, Where's your head at? I, I, I wasn't ready to give up boat life, but I've never thought that we would ever have an opportunity to buy a house equally I thought that's just not in our stars mm -hmm. and it's not it's not even like it's just buying a house like yeah. that's, that's the thing it's the like, opportunities that can that can up. come from yeah we don't want to live in a house in the UK that's yeah. not our intentions so and this is a house in the UK but it's a ridiculously cheap house yeah that's valued considerably more than what we would be buying it for. A lot of you at home will be like, why are we even considering this when we live on a boat and we're sailing and everything's amazing. <laughs> the thought that we could have passive income is a massive opportunity for us. Well, it would really make this lifestyle more sustainable for us. We could really travel further afield. Too good to pass up, isn't it really? Well, not only that, but there's other ideas yeah. that we've spoke about, like for yeah. the future future, that we just, they're ideas, like we never thought we could do them. Yeah, that's true. This could bring that forward so that we can do some of these other things that we've spoke about. Yeah, like this isn't us giving up boat life. I think this is us setting, yeah. this is us like setting up a future where we can do it better, like 
we can we can do it more sustainable like we won't have to be as um you know stressed if we have to use a marina that that's going to be our entire budget gone in a month yeah. also like there's a lot that you guys obviously don't see there's a lot that happens off screen like a lot of conversations so we were definitely going to leave the med next year wasn't we yeah i think um this is a whole other topic but i think we were ready to cruise somewhere new okay we were planning to leave the med next year we were potentially either thinking to go to the french canals and yeah. get to scandinavia cross the atlantic uh -huh. um we was even thinking of potentially going through the indian ocean yeah we're probably thinking the atlantic crossing was potentially going to be yeah. the most likely um but if we like if we sell talisman now we don't we don't know when we're going to be able to get another boat I think that's the, um, yeah. the one of the factors about making this decision. But the cool thing is, we're definitely going to be able to, because we'll be financially better off. Like we'll financially be able to do more. Yeah. Which is something we struggle with now. I feel like anyone watching, like, it's definitely possible to live this lifestyle, to do what we've done on like three to four hundred pound a month. We've we've proven that, and we could keep doing that. Um, and I think if we didn't have any, an opportunity to do anything else, we would still be doing this, continue to do this and just see where we end up. Um, it's, we've said it loads of times, like sailing plans are etched in jelly. Never have I thought it was more true than in this moment right now. Um, but yeah, this is like, it is, it is super doable. If anyone watching is thinking like, I ain't gonna be able to do that. But now with this opportunity, I think we can push things a little bit further. So we've already talked your ear off now, so we're going to leave it here. Yeah, we're just going to chat it out and we'll fill you guys in with what's going on and maybe talk to you some more later. But um, yeah, we're just going to finish our drinks, go and explore the town and we'll speak to you in a bit. Crusty bread for lunch. <laughs> Ooh. One thing I absolutely love about Italy is the just sheer amount of pasta selection. Like. Where else do you get a whole oil for pasta? Do you want, do we need more pasta? We do need more pasta, always. Just bought some goodies. Um, now we're heading back. We have no idea how much we need to share after that walk. Um, but yeah, this is the marina. It is. These guys have got the right idea. <laughs> yeah, little paddling, paddling pool. pool. <laughs> home sweet home. So Bryn's just literally put in like towels everywhere to try and make wind scoops. <laughs> Look. Does it work? I'll tell you in a sec. Yeah? Oh my god, yeah. There's a breeze. Yeah. Look, this is flapping. Amazing. Good job. <laughs> googled this recipe just to see what their garlic measurements were and like wikipedia recipe said one clove of garlic we've used four we use four all the time all the time and i still don't think it's that garlicky we've got problems that is the easiest tastiest pasta dish in my opinion very dignified mm -hmm. exercise is the brain so well and it's like i always feel like it helps you when it comes to problem solving because you're always thinking a lot of great minds play chess. I love chess. Two great minds right here, eh? And also, I taught Jade how to play chess, I don't know, six months ago, maybe? Yeah, I'd never played before then. And I must have spent four months beating Jade at every game. And now it's 50-50. The, the student has become the master. You're a good teacher. Nice bike you've got there, Bryn. You do wish, don't you? Oh, that's this a nice a one. Italian Motor Guzzi. Oh, that's I think nice. It's a 1200cc, maybe. Oh, stop drooling. Oh. <laughs> so, this is like the little hub of the marina. Um, this is where like the marina office is, a uh, little cafe, little restaurant. Give you guys just a little mini tour. We are actually on our way to the beach um, to go for a little dip. We're obsessed with this little cafe. This is our regular little spot. We sit here almost every day with a cold drink. Don't forget the ice And an ice lol.
Yeah. Oh yeah. This is like the warmest, clearest. Water. Most perfect water we've ever been in. So obviously it's a few days after um, we spoke to you guys last. So we're selling talisman. Yeah, that's, we're selling talisman. That's what's happening. Yeah. Okay, let's pause for a minute. We wanted to include these conversations in the video just so you guys could see the thought processes that we go through. But as you'll know, if you watched our update videos, things actually changed since the discussions that you're witnessing right here. Yes, we're indecisive. Yes, our lives are chaotic and unpredictable, but we wouldn't have it any other way. Obviously, we're talking about buying the house. That's what the opportunity is. Yeah and we need the money from Talisman to be able to do that. And the next stage is, um, first of all, we need to go and speak to the marina office and we want to ask about how much a winter berth would cost here. If that's a good rate. Then potentially leave Talisman here. Sailing's not over. We've got plans to crew next year for about a month to three months, um, if all goes well. And that's not including if we do an Atlantic crossing at yeah. uh, the end of either this year or next year. We're not sure about that one either yet. So there's lots of sailing, which basically keeps our sailing bugs satisfied. I want to go for a swim. See you in a bit, guys. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting our journey so far. As you all probably know by now, we decided to take Talisman off the market and actually sell her back to the UK in 2023. But be sure to tune in next week as we wrap up our sailing season. See you next time.